and Alessio getting his job in the ruck today against Ball. Neither player got the tap. Kirk's been a, a good player for the Swans this year. McPherson using Ball and O'Loughlin having to go back before they can go forward. So interesting, O'Loughlin started up more in the midfield than up forward. Great judgment shown by Ramanaskis. No, not great judgment. In the back, says Hayden Kennedy. What do you think, Tony? Well, he pushed him out. He pushed him out. I don't know whether it had enough impact on it to be a free kick, but the umpire saw it that way. Creswell gets it in. Goods. What a big job for Mark Bolton this afternoon on Adam Goods, who does play on a bit of emotion, a bit of momentum. So he'll be looking for a good start. Stafford got a couple to beat. Fletcher, superior judgment. Henneman's got the job on Stafford by the look of things. We'll work out the rest of the matchups as it settles down. Barnard takes the mark. Eston have pushed right up the ground. They've got a very open forward line. Lucas, one-handed. Moorcroft is deep. The kick goes in his direction. Matthews with the job on him and does it well enough then. No free kick. Kelly and a bit messy from the Swans and the ball out of bounds. Paul Kelly on screen has been the heart and soul of the Sydney Swans. What a great leader he's been, Paul Kelly. Throwing on 50, Lucas against Ball, McVie. Thought he might have had a touch of the jumper down there of Kelly. Creswell, those quick hands. Matthews comes away, heads towards the boundary for a toss back in. If we remember back to the last time they played, Kevin Fletcher was uh, left as a cross half back by himself, and it looks like he's picking up Michael O'Loughlin. A dangerous forward for the Swans. The Bombers today. No Solomon, no Mark Johnson, no Johnny Barnes. No Hurd and no Lloyd. It'll be a big test for the Bombers. Bolton. Inside 50. He was looking for Maxfield. Second most experienced player for the Sydney Swans. Stafford was pulled off the ball. Fletcher. Came from Hardwick. Pumps the ball wide. Barnard makes good ground. Marks on the half-back flank. Now the run comes from Bolton. Young man. Trying to make his mark today with some stars out. He's got to get around. Next is caught. Loose ball. McGrath has to go hard, kicked off the ground by Barnard. And Wayne Swash, just happy to see the ball trickle back over the line. Well, just a bad bounce for young Bolton there. He didn't see his opponent coming onto him as quick as he thought. Got rid of the ball. Good tackle by the Swans player. Matthew Nix has had a terrific season for the Swans. Seymour has been magnificent in defence as well, sometimes giving away a few inches. Needing a good bounce was Fleck, was clever play to Wellman. The All-Australian. Crossed the ground. He's looking for Ramanaskis to go and got it. Quick hands. He's looking for McGrath. It was a bit hot. Williams has pounced on it. The Swans into attack. Good. He's going to mark. Right on 50. He'll go short to O'Loughlin. No. Goes long. Goes very long. And a wasted opportunity. Through for behind. Well, there's Ramanaskis over the top of Bolton. Had to sit. Idea to play on quickly. I don't think that's a problem. Just didn't hit its target. Fletcher goes for Wellman and Alessio. Ball worked his way to the front. Swans superior ground level in that passage of play. Swans looking for somewhere to go. In the end, he kicks it with lots of bombers and not too many teammates. Good mark taken by Hardwick to try and relieve and get things moving. On Ormasidi just got rid of it in time, but his kick was half chopped off. And Nix able to take the mark. O'Loughlin leaves for Fletcher. It's a very interesting matchup, that one, isn't it? Stafford, good, strong lead off. Couldn't have come harder off his chest. He had done it deliberately. And the Bombers gang up, and Hardwick's kick. Once again, their disposal out of defence, not good. Swans haven't been able to make the most of it so far. And it looks like we're going to have the ball up. Wellman looks like he's running loose across half-back up to the wing, as he has for a lot of the year, Shorey. So it's an interesting call, isn't it, with Stafford well, uh, and on Henneman, but particularly Fletcher playing on O'Loughlin. Yes, and uh, Wellman started on Nix, and Nix has been a dangerous half-forward for the Swans, so he's going to have to watch him today. Alessio, Johnson, Krauts with the job on him. And again, Hayden Kennedy calling for the bounce. Ryan O'Keefe's been a, quite a good player for the Swans. Young Brett Piltz there, who's going to play his first game. Simon Feast, all part of the Swans bench this afternoon. Ball, couldn't really control it to a teammate. But they've got out of it McPherson, well tackled. In the back. Got a feeling it's going to be a pretty noisy crowd here at Colonial Stadium this 
this afternoon. A bit of feeling in this game. Well floated the kick and Ball takes the mark within range. Alessio is going to have a big job on Jason Ball this afternoon. Well, that was too easy to get 25 to 30 metres away from the contest. Uh, Alessio, just Stephen Alessio, just has to watch his man drop him off the contest. Free kick for in the back there. You have to pay those. But just too easy to get forward against your opponent like that. Well, he's very accurate normally, Jason Ball. Kicked 21 goals, 7. Enjoying his best year of AFL footy. It's a way to the left a bit. And yesterday we were here at Colonial Stadium and the Saints missed some opportunities early and in the end it probably cost them the match. The Swans will be hoping they don't do the same thing. Fletcher, straight up the centre of the ground looking for Bolt. It's a great kick. Goes wide. McPherson has to try and make ground. He can't get there. Barnard, those quick hands. Wellman always runs off half back. He was looking for Lucas. Such a good kick. McPherson can use the ball well between Kelly and the boundary line. Sees it over. KB, we look to the Essendon forward line. Dunkley's gone to Barnard. Matthews is on Moorcroft. And Saddington has had a great year as playing on Scotty Lucas. It's been a good start by the Sydney Swans. The bombs are under man, no doubt about that. And McVeigh heads towards the line. So a couple of youngsters really do get their chance today for the Bombers. We can see Bolton, one of the youngsters, playing on Adam Goods. Mercury and Paul Williams, that'll be an exciting clash. And Smoke and Joe Mercedi against Creswell. Of course, you've got Robert Forster Knight, Lalich, Bolton Hill, Bannister, Jacobs. Young players, not regulars with the, the Bombers. Can they make a mark today? Mercury goes to ground. He's been below his best. Alessio has to stand up today. Caught by Maxfield. Mercury just shoveled the ball out. Great tackling by Kelly. Drove Hardwick into the ground. Well, Alessio's a bit lucky here, isn't he? Yeah, that's got to be close, but that is dropping the ball because he had prior opportunity. But just here, Paul Kelly, it's always been that rugby league background, KB, being in Sydney, mm. that the Sydney Swans have tackled well, especially under Tommy Hafey as Paul Kelly looks like he's coming up in a blood rule. No players ready to come no on. No player ready here, boys, for Paul Kelly. He's making it a line off. up. Looks no like Keith. Ryan O'Keefe having a run, yeah. I wonder what the time constraints are there. 30 seconds. Okay. 30 seconds. Yes, if it's, uh, they're not ready within 30 seconds, the umpire can commence play. Ball a couple of weeks ago was magnificent against Adelaide. Creswell, game number 199, McPherson drives the ball in and cutting across. He looks pretty sharp today, Dustin Fletcher. He does, hasn't had a great season for them, Romanaskis. He's had an excellent season for them. We're pretty high in their best and fairest. But Curie and Williams will be another great battle. Swans winning the contest at the moment. Goods well behind Fletcher that time. Fletcher tracks it to the boundary line. And great work from Boston Fletcher. He hits Mercury on the chest. How about that? Up the left boot. It wasn't bad around the corner. And the Bombers are able to control it. High kick from Jason Johnson. Dunkley led Barnard with the ball. It's a hot one on 50. McGrath finds out all about it. Gang tackle. And Bolton was the man who finished off the tackle and ensured the bounce. It's a big test for Joe Mercedi this week. Against Ratton last week, he was taken from the field, and Creswell is just as good as ball getter. And we can see here, Fletcher, as you said, he looks sharp, KB. Smart thinking off the ground. Good pass. Bombers defence standing up really well at the moment. McCurry got clear. Then he got caught, and he's been pinned. the resulting kick for Williams. It wasn't a great kick. He has got support then, but Wellman won the ball more. And Wellman and Fletcher have both made good starts, and they're going to have to play big games this afternoon. As you can see there, the Sydney Swans have had most of the play in their forward half, 8-3 to three inside 50, early stage of the first quarter. And the Sydney Swans over the last five weeks, tackling has been absolutely superb. Against Adelaide a few weeks back, it was one of the best tackling games I've seen for the side for a long, long time. Creswell towards 50. Wellman, what a season he's having. Nearly impassable across the half-back line. Johnson to Fletcher. So some big names standing up early for the Bombers. And Dunkley. Probably a minor miracle he's out playing. <laughs> Looking at him last him. week. Lazarus. Swash. Trying to do a Fletcher. Carousella. Trying to apply pressure. O'Keefe. Okay. Got bundled over. Puts it out on the full. Ramanaskis wants the kick. 
I'll tell you what, boys, down here, the pressure is just absolutely electric down here at ground level. Ramanaskis concedes ground, goes back to Bolton, takes him on. A lot of confidence in the young man. Through the centre square to centre half forward. Carousella stood his ground in front. Seymour couldn't take the crumbs. Saddington so handy across half back. Chance for the Bombers. Kirk had it and lost it. Crouch. Hurried kick wide. Here's a chance. Heffernan. 35 metres out. Way, way off target. Through for a minor score. He's struggling, Chris Heffernan, this year, isn't he, Shorey, since he's come back from injury? Yeah, he's probably, it looks like he's not as quick, Hutto. It could take him, well, another three weeks for the finals. But, uh, gee, he's a good stopper, a good tagger, and that's where he plays most of the game. Well, he's playing on Paul Kelly, or he was early, but it looks like McVeigh's gone to him just for the moment with Kelly coming back on the ground. Yeah, they'll swap that the next time the ball goes that end. Seymour kicks out for the space for Nicks. Well, Wellman will get there. It's out on the floor anyway. Would they be concerned about that at the moment, Shorey? Yeah, Sean Wellman and Dustin Fletcher's impact across half-back? Well, they might be, but Nix has been in good form. It just depends who gets on top. Wellman has at the early stage of the game, but Matthew Nix has been in good form the last month. Lucas, who has to play a big role, obviously, for the Bombers this afternoon. Dunkley went towards the line, which was pretty smart play, really, and he eventually gets it over and out. So a very interesting opening here. No goals. The Bombers obviously sharing it around. 11 and a half minutes gone. Two behinds to one. I think Matthew Nix has been told now to take Wellman back into the forward line, Hutto. Carousella. Johnson. Carousella in the clear. Looking for Lucas. Yes, just inside the line. Good matchup with Jason Saddington, that one. Dunkley now watching Jacobs down there. Seymour running with Barnard. Well, this, suit, this kick suits his kicking style, left side. And he, we know he can make the distance. He is an outside chance of putting this through if he just concentrates on kicking on goal. Kick 21 goals, 25 for the year. It's not bad. It's close, just across a little bit. And Dunkley gets the fist to it to ensure that it's a behind. So it's two all here at Colonial Stadium. Two behinds, all that is. We're getting to the halfway stage of a pretty intriguing opening term. I did say an outside chance, KB, didn't I? <laughs> you did. <laughs> Williams pumps the ball wide, looking for Saddington. Has really stood up at centre-half back this year. Has grown in stature. Has to play on. Dances on the spot. Great kick. Finds Bolton. I'm a big fan of Bolton's. Hits the ball hard. It's got oh. a lot of pace. That kicks a shocker. He's not... The kicking's not his uh, strong suit, KB. No, but he's a great competitor. He can do better than that. Carousella pumps the ball back. He's looking for Jacobs. Pounced on again by Ramanaskis. Penetrating kick. Barnard looks dangerous. Shannington caught. Free kick. No, it's a free kick to the Swans, KB. Seymour. Barnard put him out of the contest. Went up too early. Seymour to Williams. Ooh. Daisy Cutter. Maxfield having his best season. Second most experienced player. Only Swash has played more games for the Swans today. Goods. The race is on. Hill goes to ground. Must keep your footing in the back. Matthews. A bit over anxious. Roman across half back. Five possessions. Just caught in two minds. Kirk. There's no one home for the Swans. He has to kick towards the boundary line for touch. That's exactly what he does. There was four Essendon players between 50 and the goal square, not one Sydney Swan. And he was a bit too far out to really have a shot, although I would have had a shot. Well, that rugby influence might have come in. It's now union influence, not rugby league and tackling. <laughs> it's definitely become a factor, that kicking to the boundary line. Lesio. They lock horn, swash. To try to crash his way through, can't do so, and there's a ball up. Well, Hutto, you think about it, if you kick the ball, there's Matthew Lloyd, sadly missed today, but if you kick the ball to the Essendon side, they rebound out of yeah. defence, switch the play, you better than just keep in there and fight another day. Absolutely, and teams have realised that more and more. Creswell went without the ball, went to ground, but no free kick there. Sure, so, sure he just went home and looked up here, Scotty Lucas, the centre-half four was fair way back. It's a job now for Danny Jacobs, particularly with Ward and Hurd out of that forward line. Danny Jacobs must push up a little bit. Yep. Two behinds all, Carousella doing the ruck work out the back with McVeigh. And he's gone to a one-on-one. -on -one. It really favours goods more than Bolton. Oh, he dropped it. Bolton persisted, might get a free, no free pay. Crowd wanted it. Williams, ball, had to release the ball by hand. He was a bit slow to do that. Goods, great smother by Hammond. So the Bombers defence standing up really well at the moment under a lot of pressure from the Swans. Escape and try and get it moving with 
McVeigh. They've got an extra man across half forward, the Bombers. That's McGrath. Takes it too far at the score. McVeigh had kept on running. Goes out wide. Should be able to kick a goal. Has all the time in order to steady. And misses. And Seymour can run. And he's got an option on. On the switch, it's Bolton. How quickly things can change from one team to the other. But the Essendon side have got back pretty well. And the mark is taken here, as it is now by Matthews. He hasn't got a lot on. He had to kick very wide. And once again, he finds the boundary line. Well, I don't know if we can see it again, KB. Aaron Her Henneman across halfback, a great smother. Ball's going to be kicked into the forward 50. There's Rodney Ede barking at the instructions. Hasn't got a lot of hair left there, KB. <laughs> Join the club. <laughs> Two behinds apiece. The Bombers and the Swans. Alessio and Goods. Maxfield, the danger man. Didn't get the bounce he wanted. It was an ugly one. Hardwick just wobbles the ball back towards the boundary line. Cross back in. I just wonder, Shuri, how long Steve Alessio can ruck here today because last couple of weeks hadn't played a lot of footy. With John Barnes out of side, a big job for Steve Alessio. Yeah, and Young Hill's on the bench, uh, Dougie. He's the backup today. A couple of important matchups there. McVeigh on Kelly. Carousella. He's boot to the ball very, very quickly. Gains about 35 metres. Carousella on screen. Such an important goal kicker. Third in their best and fairest last year. That matchup, important one as well. Swash and Carousella. Alessio. He'll uh, appreciate some ground time. Johnson. Great tackle by Williams. Matthews. Make that Seymour. Tries to keep the ball alive. He was looking for Maxfield. And again, a boundary throwing. So it's take three. We've gone nowhere. Yeah, Greg Stafford's just come from the ground. Simon Feast has gone into the ruck, and Jason Ball has pushed the full forward for the Swans. Well, he booted five goals against Adelaide as well, Jason Ball. He's in good touch. Feast goes to ground. Scrambly play and a ball up. Still on centre wing. Even though it's early in the first quarter, well, nearly 20 minute mark in the first quarter, KB, Essen and they don't look like they've got that. Well, they haven't got the scoring power, have they, that they've had with Hurd and. Lloyd out, it could be the telling factor. In recent weeks, of course, Matthew Lloyd has, has been a saviour. He doesn't miss. Kicked over 80 goals. McPherson. O'Loughlin's going to be the target. Fletcher has to go. Bolton. 35 metres out. Kicks a goal. Well, the Swans being forced to chase, and they certainly are. The Bombers just one tackle would be a bit worrying for them. The Swans finally getting a goal. Barnard working hard. He's actually tackled him high. He's a bit unlucky there, Paul Barnard. He did tackle him high, but he was actually going for the football. Not the footy as well as Seymour's neck. Kelly takes the mark. Wanted to move it quickly. McPherson is a goal kicker when he's within range. That's got a fair bit on it. And it is coming back. So that's two for the Swans. Daniel McPherson, great call, Hutto. You know that he kicks the ball a long way. Very underrated player. And you can just see some slack manning up by the Bombers. Quick handball by Kelly, who's already had an influence. That's 51 metres out. And he's given it everything. Great goal. This one's a lot more tackling, putting a lot of pressure on, especially around the centre of the ground. Two two fourteen. McPherson. Been a very handy player. Speak of the devil, the tackler. Mercedes goes to ground. Still inside the centre square. Jacobs. There's always been big raps on Danny Jacobs. Pumps the ball back. Williams has got McCurry to beat. Lucas, a danger man. Getting the bounce he wanted. There's a chance. Bolton does a 360. Mercedes should kick a goal. Bounces through. Good play by Mark Bolton on that occasion. Good play by Lucas too. The kick, unlucky bounce to Goods. He was, in the, he was in the right spot. But Joe Mercedi, Creswell got forward on him, set the last goal up. And on that occasion, well, that's how you hurt your opponent by kicking six points. There was a couple of handy bounces then, wasn't it, in a row for the Bombers? The first to elude Goods and the second to bounce through for a goal. 
Feast into the ruck for the Swans. That's interesting that they didn't bring Stafford in as their second ruckman, but they've gone with Feast. Uh, Stafford came off the ground yep. and Feast came on, so ball went forward. They'll keep rotating that because they think Alessio's been out of form. John Barnes out of the side and Young Hill in for Essendon. Inexperienced. 2-2 two, two, two the Swans and 1-2 the Bombers at the moment. Alessio used his body well, but the ball ends in Creswell's arms. His handball really wasn't where it was meant to go. Johnson, who he knows just worked so hard for the Bombers. Carousella, courage is required. That courage is what he gave them. Mercedes, chance to set up a Bomber goal. Oh. The only danger then is that they would have fought amongst themselves. And Barnard with a chance to level the scores. Great work out of the centre. A new call to Blake Carousella. Just courage running back with the flight of the ball. Quick hands from Mercedes. He doesn't drill his passes, does he, KB? He just gives him enough flight so your man can run through the line of the ball. Lucas and Barnard, well, nearly messed it up. Judd Lalich on for Essendon. McGrath off. Barnard. Just gone across the face a bit too much, hasn't it? And the Bombers through McVay try and keep it in, but they can't do it. Barnard's kicked 19 goals, 11 for the year. Started the year particularly in good goal-kicking form. The man kicking the ball in now, Paul Williams, got a big job on Mark McCurry, and he's playing nearly as a full-back. Swans by five points. Kirk looks for Maxfield. Hardwick really made it a contest. The two number 11s go at it. It's like a game of bingo. The kick, the kick made it hard for him then, didn't it? Yeah. Should have been over the top him so he could run onto the ball. Great play by it Hardwick, was, though, wasn't it? Well, he's a great competitor. All Australian half back. Feast worked his way to the front. Pulled off the ball with Swash. Creswell, those quick hands. Maxfield, clever tap onto Feast. Needs a kind bounce. Could have been pulled off the ball. Mercedes comes away. Smoke and Joe looks for Lucas. Wants a kind bounce. Sellington. Forces him over. Joe Mercedi getting on top of Cressel in the last five minutes now of this game. So important to the Essendon midfield. Just over four minutes left in this first quarter. Alessio to McVeigh. McCurry looks dangerous. Beaten by Williams. Well, he's had a big season with the Sydney Swans, hasn't Great he, Paul Williams? SCG suits him too, Kevin, to run the lines. Bolton. Thought he might have been looking for Feast with a handball. Right past him, ball. Fresh air shot. Maxfield. Got his foot to the ball. Henneman comes away from half back. Short. Finds Carousella, who looks very sharp. Done some very nice things. Always kicks the ball in front. Barnard. Had two to beat. Sandington lost sight of the ball. His opponent didn't, Lucas. Centering kick. Alessio has to go. Oh, O'Loughlin stood his ground. Michael O'Loughlin, a bit fitter, Rodney Eade says. Now plays him as an on-baller as well. As a goal kicker up forward, Matthews. Enjoying a great season. One of the unsung heroes of the Sydney Swans. Pumps the ball to space. Chance for coming out was ball. Pushed his opponent, him away. Getting the ball. Magnificently is Bolton. Metres out, kicks a goal. No, he's missed. Adam Goods wanted it wide. Didn't spot him. Puts it through from behind. T. Ramanaskis tracked it. Ramanaskis tracked him well then, didn't he? Looked like he was clear. Made him foot kick on his uh, non preferred foot. Ben Matthews has had an impact off half back, as you call KB. Gary Moorcroft's got to tighten up on him. And I think there could be a change happening with Moorcroft. Hardwick. Looking for McVeigh, oh, was, he didn't know he was looking for him. He, was, he turned around to see which teammate was coming up the ground. Was that in the back? No, play on. Johnson worried out of it. Crouch going straight over the line. I think you're right, Shuri. Uh, you caught it beautifully, Tone. Yeah, Moorcroft off and young Jordan Bannister on for his first run for the Bombers. Well, Matthews was best on ground last week, yeah. 30 possessions. Gary Moorcroft has really struggled since kicking the six goals in the half against the Bulldogs and taking what could be the mark of the year. Since then, he's really found it hard to get into the game. Swass. Bombers have got an extra man loose down here. Helping out Wellman. There's Mercedes and there's Wellman at the back. He was the loose man. Jacobs was helping him out. Carousella. Going to play a big role this afternoon, you would think. Heffernan. 
just hesitate, didn't have an obvious option in the end. They just get out of trouble, Johnson, Jacobs. They've got the loose men on, but that's a great interception. Beautifully ran by Creswell. He's got options away through the middle, very short ones. And then this one on for Maxfield. Again, Essendon pushing an extra, extra man back into defence. Now it's three on three down there. A big strong lead from Goods, couldn't complete it. Crouch is running with Johnson today, well tackled. And the umpire just giving him the benefit then, Crouch, not paying, holding the ball. So you've got to give great credit to both sides for tackling. If they have come, the players, that old saying go. Just one thing about Moorcroft, more crop, you can see here, good spoil by Bolton. But then Johnson, of course, hard at the nut. He's standing up Bolton at the moment, isn't he? A big job on Goods. Maxfield just can't get onto his left. Still he's trying, Nicks. Good shepherding from Goods. Nicks, not much room to work in, but he got the angles. Oh, he got them almost right. You could just see his head and his mind working over time, working out which angle he had to get the ball on. And he almost got it right. He's a talented player, isn't he? That's, that's the problem with Wellman. He might kick three or four goals. Wellman might have a lot of possession. You've got to stop your opponent uh, kicking goals. Just Moorcroft, KB, you're going to have lulls in your game when you've got players like Hurd and Lloyd and Lucas up there. They kick through them most of the time. Carousello's had a big quarter for the Bombers. Nine possessions, couple of marks, wins. Plenty of dash for the Swans across half-back. Saddington inside, 50. Creswell. Target, Mercedes. The big thump from behind, Hardwick. So the old firm combined. Fletcher to Wellman. Heflin wants it short. He goes wide to Johnson. Great kick. Makes good ground in front of Crouch. He's had eight possessions, Jason Johnson. Alessio down the line. It's got to be the target. Forced under the ball, McPherson. Virtually a look away handball. Did it well. Oh. Dunkley. Just dribbled the ball to Adam Goods. Edge of the centre square. Penetrating kick. Getting back. Kelly! Inspiration for the Sydney Swans. This would be a very handy goal. Just 20 seconds left and time clock ticking away. And that was a great kick by Adam Goods. You caught it well there. Penetrating kick over the top. No hope for Harvey. I don't know what they're booing for because that was great body work. They're saying it was in the back. No, no way, no. Kelly from 25 metres out with a siren blaring. He's pushed it left. Wasted opportunity for the Sydney Swans right after the siren. Kelly has missed from 25 metres out. But they'll go in a quarter time in front, 2 5 17. They lead by eight points. The Bombers 1 3 9. Second quarter from Colonial Stadium. Sydney 2 5. Essendon 1 3. And Lalich wins the tap, but O'Loughlin is on the ball, able to release it. Swass was stuck on his right side, so that's why he went by hand. Matt, the delivery from Crouch, a little bit tough for Bolton. This is an interesting battle, isn't it, between Bolton and Ramanowskis at this stage. Kelly calls for it in the pocket. Creswell puts it pretty high. Kelly has to work hard. He used his body reasonably well, couldn't take it. Good, smashed it back. Knew he had Kelly in support. It's swinging back. Just missed. So a couple of misses in a row for Kelly. One on the siren at quarter time, which is a lot easier than that one. Taking the Swans to 2-6, and Essendon are 1-3 in the opening minute of the second quarter. Fletcher pumps the ball wide, one-on-one -on -one contest. Ramanaskis from behind. Bolton did well, back-back, plenty of body pressure. Johnson didn't really hit his target. He's looking for smoke and Joe. Maxfield is quick. Quick hands as well. Good sets it up. Creswell can kick a goal. He can set it up. Nicks, 35 metres out, hammers it home. Let's just go back to Stewie Maxwell. It looked like Joe Masudi was going to get to the ball first at ground level, but Maxfield's speed to get in front of him and great handball after being tackled. A number of handballs in this play. I know that Creswell would have loved to have a shot on goal. He does, but Matthew Nix, as we said, been in great form across half forward. He doesn't miss many shots on goal like that. Good finish by Matty Mac Matthew Nix. Well, there's the bomber bench. It'll be interesting after that goal, kicked by Nix, just 
the thought process on Wellman and Nix for the rest of the afternoon, won't it, depending on who has more of an impact. Lalic's able to get the tap again. Carousella, they're starting to win around the packs. McPherson beaten for it that time. Good work by Heffernan to get it forward. But Williams playing in front, or he lost his footing. Saddington supporting work. Oh, the handballs were terrific. Got them out of trouble. Creswell can go over the top to ball. Lalic's running for him. Ball's got to work out. Watch out, crunch! And that was terrific stuff by Harvey. Just wasn't well done. Well, that's 50. That should be 50 against Paul. That has to be 50 metres. Harvey was trying to get away initially, perhaps, but gee, oh. threw him to the ground. Alessio in front. Dunkley usually good in that situation. O'Loughlin, nowhere to lay off the handball to. That could have been gone as well. Jacobs is over the top of him, and he's going to ping him now. No, he's not. I thought he was, because he got the whistle to the mouth, the umpire. Well, we can see Kelly here and Harwick. And no doubt Harwick was trying to... No, he was just no, trying no, to... No, that's got to be 50 metres. Should have been. You can see why the man wanted Brownlow. Hutto. <laughs> so 3-6 Sydney, 1-3 the Bombers. Ball, Mercurial to get it going. Hardwick and Kelly. What an appetising battle that is. Oh, McVeigh, Maxfield. Oh. Was, that was crass. Just too high. And Hardwick trying to spark the Bombers here. Hardwick want to be careful because he's got the free... And if he's not careful, he'll give it up. Just points out to the umpire where the mark is. That is dangerous play, that. Lucky there wasn't a lot of momentum yep. through the uh, tackle or the push. See that Ramanowskis versus Bolton battle. It's been terrific so far, hasn't it, out there? Two of the young stars, up-and-coming stars of the AFL. Alessio should mark this time. He didn't complete the mark. And that's a free kick to Essendon. Jason Johnson... Fletcher pushing forward, O'Loughlin back with him. Strong lead from Jordan Bannister, who looks like he's playing in the full forward position at the moment. Harper kicks for Fletcher, good kick. Good spoil though from O'Loughlin. Swass, good recovery. Didn't have a great deal of options to go for. Saddington just couldn't get back onto it. He'll be disappointed with that because he had Cali further adrift. I think Steve Alessio, that's where Essendon supporters get frustrated with him. He had to mark that ball, but I don't mind him leading up against Dunkley. One-on-one, -on -one, I think Dunkley loves playing on a man of the size of Steve Alessio. Keep leading at the ball so Dunkley has to come with you. Swans by 15 points. Ball, been shocked this time by Lucas. Just tumbles the ball back. Looking for Jacobs, the juggler. Does well to Bannister. McCurry, can he set it up? Does it well. Finds Johnson. Bombers need a goal. Need to just settle things down. Well, we said the problems of having a multiple goal kicker, KB. It looked like that in the first quarter, but just seeing Mark McCurry, always great vision and the way that he uses the ball, very efficient. Big goal at the time of this game. Johnson from right on 50. Leans back, has a second look. He just had a glance over his shoulder, running back to the centre. Four ten, the Bombers. Three six twenty four. Sydney Swans have done very well from the kick-ins, and Williams has done it very well again. The Swass, Kelly, long long lead. March in front of Hardwick. Adam Goods could be the target across the half forward line. And Bolton picking him up from the Bombers. Goods and Bolton. Goods, the high flyer. Kirk did well. Found McPherson, shrugged off the tackle of Mardard. That's not easy. Keeps the ball alive. Bolton in front. Ramanaskis, big fist from behind. High ball by Crouch. One for the Brave. Bolton, fresh air shot. Wins it at ground level, tied up by Johnson. And that's a ball up on 50. I'd have to say that Bolton's got the better of that, yeah, you would. that contest with Ramanaskis at the moment. He's always forcing the issue by going to the front. Ramanaskis has to punch away all the time. Gives him a second chance at the ball at the contest. Eight possessions to five in favour of Jude Bolton. He's had seven kicks and one handball so far. Romanaska started really well. Swans leading by 14 now. Ball controlling it out of the ruck. Interception. Jason Johnson's been certainly one of the Bombers' best again this afternoon. They're able to work it around and get away. Masidi. Goods is going to be find it difficult here against Bolton, but he didn't give away the free. Jacobs well wrapped up. Make sure he didn't release it. And Gavin Dorr calls for the bounce. We've seen a lot of this today, haven't we? Great tackling by Seymour. 
Well, we saw at the start of the match that the Swans tackling in over the last five weeks has been a key factor now. He's picked out a free for a rack infringement to go to ball. Now this has become a problem already at the seven minute mark of this quarter. Kelly leads one way, he's got himself into trouble here, Ball. Did well to get out of it because Swans can pump it. In fact, he just waited the kick for Kelly. He's out of range. The resurgence of the Sydney Swans has really revolved around Jason Ball as well in the ruck. He's done so well for him in recent weeks. Stafford, almost, not quite. Bomber defence again under the ball. Oh. Uh, paid that as a free against Stafford. He went in with the, I guess with the knees, but it didn't look like, it. I'm not sure that he actually made that bad contact, did he? Oh, it had to be a free kick. I thought it was quite crude. Lucky he didn't make great contact. Yeah, we'll have a look at the replay in a minute if we can, but the Bombers on the burst. That's a big turnaround from out of defence under pressure by the Essendon side, and Bay just got his foot to the ball under extreme pressure. And Here's Stafford. The ball goes over, nearly gets a free kick, but he didn't fall on off. Oh, could have been in the back of Stafford. We just have to watch the follow-up, which we won't see. Alessio let it the ball then, that's what he's got to do. Big kick for the Bombers, it's an awkward one, but I think Them in touch. Well, that's the way to play Andrew Dunkley. Keep coming at the ball. Fletcher, smart tap on then. Thought the contact was going to come well. Went out in front. McVay, great chase by Seymour again. The tackling come in the four. But again, as I said with Alessio, you've got to lead at the ball. That's the way you beat Dunkley. 24 plays, 16. Sydney Swans by eight points. Lalich. Going to be the answer in the ruck, O'Loughlin. Didn't get quite the bounce he wanted. Recovered well, goes short. Finds Nicks. Stafford. In front of the square has got to be the target. Stafford. With his hands on the ball. And he's been paid the free kick. Well, go on, KB. What did you think? I think he's been interfered with here as he's gone for the mark. Because Henneman never watched the ball. Well, Henneman hasn't watched the ball here. Oh, it's pretty soft. Well, he did pull his... <coughs> excuse me. He did pull his arm did down. Or just hit his arm. Pulled his arm down. Well, you, you've got to be better, I reckon, to let the man. He should mark the ball. And if that's the pressure that caused you to not mark the ball, very stiff. I know the, the one thing, having his eyes taken away from the ball is the reason the free kick's been paid. I think the umpire's actually paid it for pulling his arm down. He make a lot of contact. Stafford is directly in front, just 35 metres out and nails it. Well, he's a big target in front of goal, isn't he? And uh, the Essendon supporters, I think they think they've got the his arm here. Yeah. Gee, Gee that's, there's not a lot though, KB. You've you can't see his arm down there, can you? Yeah, no, look, look. It's either a free kick or it's not a free kick well, when you pull someone's arm I down. Think that's I don't reckon that was. I don't reckon that I was. I think a he friend. just made contact by punching at it. Four six thirty to two four sixteen. It's hotting up again at Colonial Stadium. Crowd not particularly happy. Swans will be. Ball again. Demanding stuff out of the middle from Jason Ball. Good just got the run up. He didn't go for the mark. Bolton's fought on. Crouch made some contact. Hard. We got through. He's tough. Had his pants pulled down. Been a big week for that in football. <laughs> Up the half forward. Bannister in front. Matthews over the back of the pack. Barnard strong. But nowhere to go. Bannister. Well done. The Bombers are outnumbered. But they've won the ball. Carousella. It's a low kick. Lalich. No interference. He actually legged him on the bar. Could have been a free against Lalich in the end. Soft one with the Swans against Jason Johnson. It is really a cauldron-like atmosphere at the moment. Lalich does really well to win it back for the Bombers. And moves it quickly. Barnard the target. Oh, courage of Kelly. The courage of Kelly just shown again as he made sure the ball went out of bounds. 
two free kicks, eight to six. You'd think it'd be eight to none, wouldn't you? <laughs> They're pretty raucous at the moment, the Bomber fans. And the Swans fans also found some voice. They've got a bit to cheer about at the moment. It's just vacant. The pace of Nix versus Fletcher. He was being harassed. He's going to get a free Fletcher. Advantage Bay. Ramanaskis can use Hardwick. The Bombers look up. Surveying the options. Not a lot on for them at the moment. Just a short start. Barnard. It was well worked. Heffernan. Took them on. And nowhere to go. Touched the ball to ground. Just after he finished being tackled. So it was OK. Perhaps. Sure, he looks a bit confused. I think we'd have to have a look at that. If he touched the ball on the ground, I think he was still held in the tackle. Should have been the ball. Sets it up. Lucas is looming here, but popping up in front is Big Alessio. Just see it here. If he did touch the ball, he's been held in the contest. No, Just he's... got his foot. It would have been a trip. Yeah, it would have been a trip. It. Yeah. Yeah. He just started to lead the ball, hasn't he, Alessio, Alessio KB? And that's the way Dunkley likes you to play body on body. Once again, Alessio, he kicked the last goal for them, needs to do it again. It's a bit to the right, and just enough to hit the post. So it's been Essendon's turn to miss a few chances in this quarter. They're 2-5, Sydney are 4-6, an intriguing battle ahead between now and half-time. Lead by 13 points, they led by 8 points at quarter time. The Sydney Swan swash. A couple of casual bounces. Goes short to Williams. Finds McPherson. Squeezed up on the boundary line. Nick's got rid of Fletcher. All he needs now is a kind bounce. Can he keep the ball alive? Give support. Maxfield. Great kick. Great goal. Swans have taken the ball, the length of the ground from the kick-out. The Bombers are playing a man-on-man -man from kick-out to Williams. Nix uses his body brilliantly there. No, he's going to be tackled. Got some spin off so he can get his arm clear. And Stewie Maxwell, well, you know, around the ground and kicked the ball beautifully. If you give him an opportunity like that, he will not miss. Playing up forward, which is a move by the Swans today. No doubt the Swans coaching box be happy about the turnaround there. Alessio missed the shot down the other end and the goal was kicked. Essendon need to surge. Mercedes was trying to. Barnard applying a physical presence. Worked really hard on his hands and knees. And Hardwick has had an influence in this quarter. 16 possessions for Damien Hardwick. Saddington and Lucas. Long kick in. He's got the body. He's in the right spot here. Holds him up one hand. Did the right thing by holding him up one hand, but uh, just took a class act. Scotty Lucas. It's wobbly. And again, it hits the post. Well, we saw that last week at the MCG. Sure, didn't we? The Bombers yeah. hit, the, hit the post twice in two minutes and three times for the quarter. And it was the same quarter, I think. I think that was shorter time span then, too. Yeah. I know. Williams again. Just hitting targets from the kick-ins. Finds Adam Good, pumps the ball along. Saddington, Lucas, nearly a one hand up. Well done. Hits the ground running. Good support from Lally. Tries to drill it. It was a bad option. O'Loughlin at half back. Short, Kelly. Got him in his sights. Maxfield, quick lead. McVeigh closing quickly. Good grab. Defensive 50, finds Carousella. Held up on the mark by Wayne Swass. They just share the ball around. Heffernan to Carousella. To Jacobs, short. Finds the runner, Bannister. Barnard, great smother. The Swans are a great tackling side. They keep concentrating, look at that. Free kick, back to Barnard for holding the man. So Barnard will take it. But there's no easy kicks, no easy handballs today for the Bombers. They are under a lot of pressure. Fletcher stands and delivers inside 50. On the stretch. Couldn't take it. 
Shannington comes away, looks for an option, pumps the ball wide. Hardwick is going to hit it hard in front of Kelly. Got a cruel bounce, Kelly. An ugly one. Gives away the free kick. Manhandled Hardwick. 17 possessions to Hardwick. Feeds the ball off to Bolton, finds Wellman. Heads to the centre square. Alessio says kick it long and high. Kick it hard, kick it high. Alessio's the target here. Comes Stephen. Can't get it. On the stretch. Dunkley. Quick hands to Swash. Always hits a target. Shannington working overtime across the half back line to the runner Williams who bangs the ball back. Bolton stands his ground. More cops on for the Bombers. Taken off the ground early. Bolton inside 50. Stafford's the target. Oh. Looking for the free kick. Next is going to run in. Should kick a goal. It's going to bounce. Bounce it through. He's got two, Matthew Nix. And he's a headache for the Bombers. I think we've got to look at this mark in contest. Oh, I had to be a free kick. That's a body slam. World Championship Wrestling, but Nix, he's made the most of it. Wellman was in the contest. That's the thing. How many goals will Nix kick on Wellman while he gains a lot of possession? I think the Swans will be happy to go with that matchup. What they wouldn't do to have that man out on the ground at the moment, the Bombers. 6-6 six, six to 2-6. Jacobs coming on for Essendon. Out of the middle, Johnson again. Alessio presenting. But not taking. And the Swan was able to run. Creswell thought about going to Kelly in the end ever so casually. Hits Bolton. What a game he's playing. Jude Bolton. Possession number 10 coming up. Floats and floats OK. McPherson just outside scoring range. Stafford down in the square. Fletcher watching him. Balls down there as well. Lalich for the job to stop him. O'Loughlin and Wellman. They're the main three keys. Oh, he got underneath it. Went right up the side. Crouch. Oh, Johnson was falling on top of Crouch. And the ball is out of bounds. Crouch asked the question. He said, I got squashed. i7sport.com.au Ian Robertson in the chat room tonight at 7.30 around Australia. 6.6.42 Sydney, Essendon 2.6.18. Lalix the tap, went straight to ball, who kicks the goal? Well, it looked like it was part of a routine, that. Well, what he did, Lalic, Stafford put the pressure on by going for the ruck. Ball didn't worry about it. Lalic has gone in and so Stafford's man. So someone's free and it's Jason Ball at ground level. I think they've got to make a change and they've done it now. Alessio's gone in the centre bounce, KB, because Ball have just dominated the, the ruck tap outs in this second quarter. That's the Achilles heel for the Bombers. Well, John Barnes is out. Sydney by 30 points. 48 plays 18. Alessio now in the ruck. Jason Ball enjoying a great five or six weeks of form. He has ignited the Sydney Swans of recent weeks. Kelly also finding some form and touch. Just watching Lullage coming off here, boys, and uh, forced a night for his first run. Looks like now Wellman's got the job on O'Loughlin. Uh, Fletcher's gone across there to uh, Stafford at this stage with Henneman off the ground. Creswell 12 possessions with CD8. And, of course, uh, no Solomon, Mark Johnson, Johnny Barnes, Hurd or Lloyd. And several Bomber players also struggling to find touch. Moorcroft is one of them. McCurry just had his hands on the ball four times today. This man has had it 17 times. Hardwick from half-back. Belts the ball back. McCurry and Masidi. Just crashing to one another. Great fist by Swass. And that's young Bannister. Uh, uh, Williams' father, right yeah. on TV ringside, yes. Wayne Bannister. Wayne was he Bannister. captain of the Collingwood under-19s as well? And he also worked for the Collingwood Council. So did you? Yes. <laughs> Alessio, big fist of the ball, pump back. Ramanaskis did a 360. Smoke and Joe fires out the ball. Carousella pumps it back inside 50. McCurry, the high flyer, Barnard, the crummer. Bounces through for a behind. Sorry, I was just watching a bit behind the play then, or during the play. Moorcroft went in to try and apply a shepherd. 
as if, you know, I'm going to really make a physical statement here. And the Swans just stood up to the hip and shoulder, and they are standing up to everything at the moment, well, aren't they? They're genuinely tough. They showed that against the Kangaroos last week. They are a tough side. Seymour goes wide. Lucas made it a contest. Tickles the ball up. Can't take control. Moorcroft, the tackler. Lucas keeps it alive. Carousella, those beautiful hands. Wonderful vision. And Hardwick just bowls him over. He's a fantastic player. Damien Hardwick, the All-Australian halfback, just licks the fingers. That's a James Hurst. He's mate. looking forward to the contest. <laughs> the tougher it gets, the better he'll go. Ball again down to Matthews. Had to work hard. Ball, Ramanaskis, Creswell. They just gradually got on top. Ball around the corner. Swass, Nix, O'Loughlin. Oh, Wellman just rode over the top. Bannister, the handball intercepted. Creswell pushing forward. Heffernan forming the barrier across half back. A fumble from Wellman. He's got Bolton loose. Uses Fletcher instead. Carousella through the middle. How will he use it? McCurry's going to be caught. Just got the kick away. Is that a high tackle? No. McCurry overwhelmed by numbers but did well to get it back to some safety. Wellman crunched by Bolton as he kicked it. The umpire says it's OK. And Seymour takes an uncontested mark. So the Swans are hitting hard at Colonial Stadium and they're reaping the rewards. 7-6 to 2-7. That's a shocking kick from Wayne Swans. Just letting the Bombers off the hook. Three and a half minutes to go before half-time. If they could snag a couple of goals, it would just kick them in with a chance. McCurry ducked the head, the umpire said, and it's out of bounds. Well, that's been a great matchup for the Swans. Paul Williams on Mark McCurry. Yeah. I thought I'd take Williams to the square. Mark McCurry out of the square might beat him in the air. He's a fairly good mark for his size. Well, they're inside 50 still, the Bombers. Moorcroft trying to have an impact. But again, Seymour has the extra defender back. He goes straight for the line. And Wellman can't do much to retard the footy. They do it better than any side in the competition. Essendon do, does it well, KB, that extra man in defence. They mm. just always come off the pack. You can see it now. Seymour's by himself in defence. No space for the Essendon forwards. Well, he's a great defender, Brad Seymour. He's had his injury problems. And he's quick also. We saw that earlier today. When he chases hard, Creswell holds the head. Smoke and Joe. Just pumps the ball inside 50. Chance for McCurry. Williams overruns the ball. Coming out hard was McPherson. Thought he might have had McCurry by the arm. Lucas, quick snap. Can't make it. Three for a behind. Three behinds to Scotty Lucas, including a post from this quarter, young David Hill. You're surprised the they haven't used him yet, Hill? Well, I am, because I think Jason Ball has dominated this second quarter. Swash. Finds O'Loughlin. No longer just a gun forward. Also taking his role. Midfield, Saddington. The problem That's is that Alessio was having an impact up forward, but now that Lalic didn't do the job and Ball was dominant, they've had to push him on the ball. Kicks a high ball. Looking for Stafford. Creswell, front of the pack. Johnson, driven into the ground by Maxfield in the back. The Bombers will need all their big guns to stand up today. They'll need Johnson, they'll need McCurry, they'll need Joe Masiti. They must play well. Bolton to Wellman. Too much carry on the ball. Barnard got caught under the ball. And again, you can see the body pressure there from Dunkley. They really want to test the Bombers today physically, the Sydney Swans. Not the greatest kick out in front of Barnard and he has a shot on goal. Just made it so easy for Dunkley. Stafford, you can see here the height advantage he was being mauled at the same time so he'll take the free kick from halfback. He looked to switch it initially but now he goes and spots Goods who was on a long lead. He wanted to dump it to Maxfield, decided the better of it. Now he gets himself into a bit of trouble. Drifting along, bit of a saunter and he had to release the ball. Good persistence from Mark Bolton. Well done. And Goods just fell into his back for a minute then. Goods will be disappointed with himself. Oh, oh. he throws one. And he might go for that. He does. Free kick. He's good saying all about the first one. 
Discipline play by Adam Goods. Swans can't afford that. This is dangerous. Jacobs, no! Well done, no Lachlan, but the Bombers in force tonight were there to support Barnard. Again, the next kick in is the one they need to get working. Barnard all the fumble. And the Swans defence has been magnificent. Bolton, he's got O'Loughlin. The kick wasn't great, to be honest, from Bolton. He had O'Loughlin and Swans on, and they're disappointed with the result of that. Let's have a look at this. Well, that was an elbow, it was just a bit of retaliation. Yeah, nothing in that, Hutto. Nothing in terms of a report. No, nah, we don't want to waste our time going to the tribunal, do we? No, nah, but uh, well, Ronnie Burns did got a week for something not too much more physical than that. Actually, uh, the, the elbow of the young man sort of caught the blow, didn't he, really? So <laughs> yeah. he didn't actually make contact, I don't think, in the end. Johnson. Finds force tonight. This is what they've done so well, is hold them up here. They haven't been able to run through the lines. Even Wellman ran into a wall before. Kirk stands his ground. He's an underrated player, Kirk. He can come off the bench, he can kick a goal. Now strutting his stuff in defence. Short to Stafford. Loose. 30 seconds left in this second quarter. 7-6-48 the Swans. 2-8-20 the Bombers. A trail by 28 points after trailing by 8 points at quarter time. Here's Kelly on a long lead against Hardwick. He's off and running. The bounce of Kelly through the centre square. Long penetrating kick. Ball. Got his hands on it. Going to ground that time was Creswell. Tied up by Alessio. Plus Fletcher. And they've got a ball up. 30 metres out from goal. Well, Creswell's had 15 possessions to Joe Mercedes' 10. But what he's done with them also, I think he's had the better of that contest. So, half-time at Colonial Stadium. And the Bombers staring at their third straight defeat. 7-6-48 Sydney, the Bombers 2-8-20. Second half from Colonial Stadium. Essendon, 28 points behind. Hill won the initial tap, but ball... Not able to get it clear in time. Jason Johnson, his opening half, continuing his terrific form. 17 possessions, 9 kicks and 8 handballs. Damien Hardwick, 10 kicks and 8 handballs. A Curie, an unlikely ruckman. Bannister, McVeigh. Bannister again, pushing forward. Cowie crunched him in the back, said the umpire. Advantage. Here there was, according to the umpire. Not completely convinced of it, but the Bombers get it clear. Mercedes, they're still on the back foot a little bit here. McCurry having to push very wide with the cool. kick. Big David Hill. Oh, got a tough bounce. Couldn't trap it. Oh, Maxfield beat it. Releases for good. Maxfield's still there in support. And he can go over the top. Oh, he didn't. He just kicked blindly. And he thinks, why, oh, why did I do that? Good lead from Jacobs. Hill pushing forward, goes longer, looking for Lucas Saddington, desperate but not able to get the fingernails to the ball. Lucas in the, in the arc, good strong work, Carousello, looks like he's pushed forward, oh Bolton, he's gone! Did he get moved to ball? He didn't, free kick! Carousello plays on and doesn't kick the goal, so no advantage anyway. It will, you would think, be a goal coming up and Ramanaskis, the man to have the shot. Well, that's a good start to the Bombers. Good pressure here. Bolton just trying to be a little bit too cute. It hit someone's boot. I think it was Ramanaskis, yeah. but good decision. You can't just drop the ball from one hand when you're tackled. There's only uh, three uh, players down on the Essendon bench here, boys. It appears that Aaron Henneman has yet to come out of the room for the Bombers. Yeah, he did appear a little bit injured as he came off. And it has, it has affected their matchups too in defence, hasn't it? So Ramanaskis hasn't missed one all year. Oh, I apologise, Adam. Oh, ten goals straight he had until then. Well, you shouldn't miss those goals. He's played in the Premiership side now, so he's had a fair bit of experience. You're right about those matchups. Judd Lalich, if they want to release Fletcher, would have to go and play in the back half, you would believe. Maxfield brings the ball in. Shaddington has to go hard. Anita Crummer, McCurry front of the pack. Johnson oh. pumps it back. They can raffle this. And great defensive play. Guess who? Matthews. He's been a great player for the Sydney Swans. It was a strange kick in, Shuri, wasn't it? He played on to the side where all the Essendon players were. Well, the Bombers have went into a zone. Instead, they were playing man-on-man -man in the first half, Hutto. The Bombers have hit the post three times. Ramanaskis, 
Lucas and also Alessio. Some pushing and shoving, ground level, Creswell. Remanaskis falls on top, so does Maxfield. There's a ball up on 50. Fletcher still at full back on Stafford. Rick Stafford on screen. Doug thought maybe Fletcher could go up forward, but with Henneman off, it does sort of limit their ability in defence to pick up someone like Stafford. Hardwick drills it. Couldn't take on the second grab was Lucas. Matthews tied up by Jacobs. Dunkley heads straight for the line, and Maxfield with a bit of body pressure as well. Comes in very, very hard. I think he's hurt Joe Mercedi. He was on the blind side. Might have just got the corner of his face, I Didn't think. Didn't quite see Maxfield here. Bang. Yeah, or down the middle. Boundary throw in Lucas to McVeigh. Pushed off the contest. Standing his ground. Hill couldn't take the mark. Kelly boots it off the ground. It's three against one. This is a test now for Carousella. Numbers will win out. Kelly rockets the ball to Williams. A penetrating kick. Long kick. Way, way off target. Out of bounds on the full, so a let off. Gee, Hardwick had a run up then, didn't he? As he came at Kelly. Well, I'm glad he was off target too. Yeah, or he mightn't see another. <laughs> he might have seen another game of footy for the year if he had to make contact. Forced tonight, gets it in quick. Lucas Saddington to spoil again. Had help from Seymour. McVeigh. No. Well, they're pressing the Bombers, aren't they? Here, two ten. And they need to obviously play well at the start of this quarter. Just been some great defence, hasn't there? Ben Matthews got his hand in the contest out here, forced a ball up, and on that occasion, the other side of the ground, Dunkley just got a fist in. Maxfield. Saddington. Oh, Dunkley late on the scene. Bolton just chipped it. It was pretty good, though. Ball pushing forward. Hill in hot pursuit. Handball wasn't great for McPherson. Had to work back on the inside. Always had players lining up to help. Bolton wobbly made it hard for Stafford. Fletcher should get a free kick. Won't. Should have got a free, but the Bombers... Oh, a fumble from Fletcher. Stafford, suddenly there's more pressure. Carousella, they handled it well. Forced to Knight, low kick, out onto the wing. McCurry versus Bolton. Didn't try and pick up the ball initially. McCurry was wrapped up pretty well. Dunkley will want to go by hand. No, he went by foot. And he knew where he was going to. And the ball over and out. Uh, the young boy, Forced to Knight, should have kicked it between McCurry and the boundary line. Put him under a lot of pressure. 7 6 to 2 10 at Colonial Stadium. The Bombers need to do something and do something quickly. Carousella getting it in, but a barrier in the form of Paul Kelly. He uses Saddington. He can use Creswell over the top. Masidi still pursuing him. Seymour was the other option. He's going to swing it oh. back. He's missed the target. Kelly, what an effort. Diving away in the gully. Goods leads to the wing and providing a target goods. Swans just need to get a bit of run back in their play. Just been a little bit missing in the opening four or five minutes since half time. And again, they're pretty stagnant here. The Bombers appear to have changed their tactics. Goods gets it in long and that's a good mark. And McCurry trying to inspire his team at the moment. He's doing a good job of it. Harvick, who's run right all day. Lucas, he's got the run, he's got the body position, but Saddington was absolutely outstanding there. Kelly, strength. They're relentless, the Swans at the moment. Krauss has got to be tough here. He was strong, hard at the ball. This man Johnson couldn't keep it in, and it's over and out. Intriguing four or five minutes coming up, Shorey. Well, Jason Saddington on Scotty Lucas, out position, got his body on the other side. Scotty Lucas had to stop him from getting there by bodying him earlier. Uh, just great play. He's been informed of taking out a key position forward week in, week out. Swans by 26 points. Ball try to take it out of the air. Ramanaskas bundled off the ball. Kelly desperate at ground level. Ball again sets it up to Creswell as he wobbles the ball forward. O'Loughlin was an awkward mark. Stafford wants it wide. Six foot eight. Stafford should take the mark on the stretch. Fletcher made quick ground. The consummate defender. And you would have thought that Stafford would have gobbled that up. Well, just great play again. We saw Sannington one end of the ground. Then you see a great defender, All-Australian player, Dustin Fletcher up the other end, out of position, but just, again, got the fist in. Stafford to Williams. It was a great tap to Swass. 
a 360. Good has to go. Bolton goes to ground. McVeigh falling over the top is Maxfield. Bolton, young man, rockets the ball wide. So two young players for the Bombers force tonight. Hammers the ball back towards the boundary line. Chance for Jacobs. It's always been big raps. Oh. Maybe not with his bouncing of the ball. Well, the suggestion is he would have been in the Bombers' premiership side last year, apart from injury. That's how much they think of this young man, but bouncing, not a skill. Well, he was looking up the ground to see what he was going to do with it, Kev, when he got it back in his hands. Problem is, it didn't come back in his hands. A look away bounce. Yeah. <laughs> Boundary throw in. Hill caught behind. Big pack of players. And a ball up. 7-6-48. Sydney Swans, 2-10-22, the Bombers. And we've played nearly nine minutes into this third quarter. Hey, Shorey, I'll tell you what, you take Damien Hardwick out of this Essendon defence, oh. there'll be 15 goals down. He's been terrific. I agree, Doug. 23 possessions for Damien Hardwick. There's Ball and Swass again combining. And the boundary line was the target. I just wonder if Hill in the ruck, to get Jason Ball out of the game, there's John Barnes, again, a player who's missed today. I, I, if I was Hill, I'd try and push forward and hopefully Ball would come with me as a defender. He might stay at the contest and then they have to readjust, but they've got to try something, the Bombers. Stafford off and young Pilt's on for his first game. So we wish him the best. Might see some action in a minute too because the Swans are going forward. Took Fletcher out of the play by Stafford not being there. Williams into the square. Bolton, look at Goods! Oh, what a leap! The goalpost was looming large. And that was probably the only thing that stopped him taking an absolute spectacular grab. How about the form of Paul Williams, KB? He's just given him another option other than Wayne Swass to cut the lines up and to get through the lines and use his speed. And he's such a penetrating oh. kick as well. It's quick through the air. Oh, oh, oh a young Pilts. He touched it before it went over the line. <laughs> McPherson was trying to shepherd it. Oh, I'd be nervous. He would be. How would it be, your first game? He was touch and go too, whether he actually touched it before it went over. Young man from North Aubrey. Just keen to get into the game. We can all remember our first game. It's pretty exciting when you first come onto the field. I'm still waiting for mine, KB. <laughs> well, Geelong, Geelong just might need you. <laughs> and there was no TV when you played yours, KB. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even radio. 7-7-49 <laughs> the Swans. 2 10 22 the Bombers. Yeah, he got a talix from his uh, parents. It's <laughs> a so ball up on 50. Ball thumps the ball forward. McPherson, McCurry, trying to really lift his game in his third term. Johnson, McCurry, Wellman, they're the players for the Bombers that will have to lift it there to win this game. Bolton goes short and finds Creswell. This is an important kick. Well, Johnson, he's had a great game, but then just had to. Well, what can you do? You're under enormous pressure. Maybe turn around and kick along the boundary line. Now Creswell has an easy shot on goal. Very hard to get back from this if he kicks the goal from here. He's had it 16 times. This to put the Swans 33 points up. He's pushed it wide of the goal post and through for behind. It's a let off for the Bombers. Moorcroft on the bench. Just had one kick. That's a great kick in. Wellman was in terrific position to mark it. Look at them run on the overlap. Bannister, McVeigh, they shared it around. The shot for goal will be all important. Lucas has got the fallback. Oh. And Jason Saddington, those fingers again, doing the walking and the working and saving the day. 2-11 to 7-8. Well, Hutto KB just told me the right technique for Scotty <laughs> Lucas. You've got to stop Saddington three or four yards off the ball. Don't allow him to keep, keep running back on you because he can run and jump. A great athlete. Stop him in his tracks and then keep running back with the flight. They've had a bit more trouble with the kick-ins in this half, the Swans. Matthews having to go short looking for Swass. Lewis had too much on him, but he did have good support around him. Creswell, sure where he was going then. It was a wobbly kick. Hill able to take the mark. He's got McCurry and Jacobs on this side of the ground. Wellman will look for Jacobs or Masiti. 
He goes for Joe, but it wasn't a great kick. Set up three swans. Good work from Pilts. Oh, Kelly, very clever. O'Loughlin, initially the fumbles, still the fumbles. He always knew he had Paul Kelly there. Floating handball from Kelly was perhaps a little bit ambitious. Crouch, McPherson, saw Williams out of the corner of the eye. Has to be strong. Paul Williams, Goods has broken to the goal square. If, he, if Williams can pump it in there, which he'll do now. Adam Goods with the set, with the run up. Oh, and that's a terrific mark by Hill pushing back. Well, Kevin sheedy has got a big opinion of that young man. McCurry sets it up to Hardwick. Roll firm combined. Hardwick drills it, finds Ramanaskis. The run will come from Johnson. So the better players for the Don start and get their hands on the ball. They go wide. Barnard can't trap it. Still no goal. Just two goals for the Bombers. That's what happens when your key position players are out. With Matthew Lloyd out, you go to him 75% of the game. Greg Stafford, O'Keefe sitting on the interchange bench. 2-11, the Bombers, 23. Sydney Swans, 7 8 50. They lead by 27 points. Matthews had it and lost it. Creswell continues to win the ball at ground level. Good we'll play that time by Carousella. Can set up the Bombers inside 50. Seymour. Always hits the ball hard. Got a great defence, Seymour, throw in Dunkley, throw in Matthews and Saddington. Best defence in the last nine weeks, KB, of uh, scores against. So they haven't had big scores scored against them. Think about... Uh, best in the competition. 57 points, 58 points, isn't it? Uh, just, over 60, just over just 60. Just over 60. Just over 10 goals. Before so today's game. Alessio. Can he kick a goal? Can Alessio kick a goal? He can! has booted two goals and maybe that is the catalyst for the Bombers to come back. Well, when we look at it, 21 points. You'd think the Swans should be nearly 10 goals ahead. And he did it well, used his body well. And I don't think he had a look at goal, but he just snapped, kicked it forward under a little bit of pressure. He converted. You need a little bit of luck to get back in the game. 21 points down, they're still in it. Well, this is the moment now in this match. It has to be the pivotal moment if the Bombers are going to win it. Hill. Ball. In such a low-scoring struggle. That first goal of the second half going Essendon's way. So important. Suddenly there is some light for them, perhaps. The young kid's uh, done a good job of stabilising in the ruck, I think. He's marked a few around the ground. Ball hasn't been as dominant in his first 15 minutes as he was in the second quarter. That was the Bombers' first goal for 34 minutes. Oh. Ramanaskis, suddenly they've got a bit more belief. Essendon, Jason Johnson. And the umpire quick to blow the whistle that time, Hayden Kennedy. 21 points the margin. Swass has had 15 possessions for the Swans. 19 for Creswell, 13 McPherson, 16 Kelly, 14 Bolton, and 18 Ball. There's another one for Bolton. The centre half forward, Swass, forced tonight on him. The release was terrific. Bolton's was equally as good. And Adam Goods should kick a goal. He does. Well, I think I opened my mouth too early. That was a tap from Jason Ball then, but as Hutto called, a great ground level pickup from both players. Kept the ball alive. Adam Goods not going to miss straight down the corridor. What a quick reply. That hurts. Now the Bombers would like to have that man in the goal square today. They trail by 27 points, 56 plays, 29. Just over eight minutes left in this third quarter. Williams. Tied up by Ramanaskis. Kelly tries to just barge his way through. Can't have budge. Jason Johnson. Bang! Oh. Kurt! Runs straight into Barnard. And it's a ball up. Right on the edge of the centre square. Well, they are the real McCoy when it comes to toughness. As I said last week, the Kangaroos... They made them look pretty ordinary in that area, and they've done the same thing today to the Bombers, although undermanned the Bombers. Hill, beaten by Ball. He's been in great form, Williams. 
Continues to be a driving force for the Swans. Pilts. And he took the grab. Jacobs forces it over the line. So young Pilts in his first game. From North Aubrey. Jacobs. Thrown on the half forward flank for the Sydney Swans. Masidi. McCurry driven into the ground. Ramanaskis does the shepherding. Bannister had it and lost it. Bolton runs the 50 for the Swans. Nix, Nix, couldn't take it. Got his hands on the ball. One he shouldn't have dropped. An opportunity gone begging. Wellman goes wide and finds Bolton. They just can't put the Bombers away, the Sydney Swans. Jacobs can mark and run. Slows it down by handballing to Wellman. He takes a bounce in one step through the centre square, goes wide. Fletcher didn't really attack the ball. There was too many Swans players. Somehow put him off balance. Ramanaskis. Those dancing feet. Can't find his target. McCurry taken by McPherson. Slowed it down midfield yeah. here, Tony. I don't think the handball was necessary. I think Jacobs could have ran with the ball, got well, Wellman, it long. Wellman was telling him the run, and he was more surprised at getting the handball off him. And then Wellman took a bounce with one stride, which again slowed it down. Here's Bolton. Cross half back to Maxfield. There's a thumping kick, so quick through the air. But the Swans haven't got back. Fletcher, the juggler, does well to Jacobs. Bolton. Now the umpire's caught advantage. Now, Bolton wanted to give the ball back. For the half four line, McVeigh should mark. Uh -oh. Drops an absolute sitter. And Seymour, this could hurt. Good hands that time. That come from uh, Forster Knight. It was a good smother, and he's held the Swans up. Well, young McVeigh then, you'll learn from that. The pressure that the Swans are putting on, it becomes a mental thing. You think you haven't got as much time in the marking contest. And he dropped his head on that occasion. Got to learn from that. Ball again, dominating, but the release wasn't good. High one from Ramanaskis, McCurry and Williams. He got the fingernails to it again, Williams. Just enough. Kirk battling, struggling. Williams, Dunkley. Interesting kick that he designed there off the ground. Matthews helped out from Bolton off. Swans player fell over, that was Creswell. Barnard, full head of steam. Heads towards Lucas, who should mark this one. And he does. And still the Bombers can stay in touch. Fletcher's on his own in the goal square, but Lucas... He looks just a little bit like he's still just got out of bed. About <laughs> to have a shot for goal. Uh, turnover there, you can see Barnard was the recipient of that turnover. And a very good kick, he ran through the lines. You feel a bit tight after that, but he used the ball very well. Scotty Lucas has to convert. Has to, has to, has to, does. Uh, he's had the opportunity a number of times to mark the ball, but Jason Saddington's had the better of him in the one-on-ones. That turnover meant that Saddington wasn't in the contest. Great kick by Barnard. What I meant was he's tied up, he's run through, got away from his opponent, had the balance up, and that was a must goal. That gets him back in the contest. Another one here. They need one to break that run. The Bombers have dragged it back. Sydney Swans by 21 points. Fletcher's gone to full forward, boys, too. Jacob has gone to full back. Let's go back in the ruck. Fletcher, the go-to man for the Bombers. Kelly. The champ from the centre square pumps it back. Nix couldn't take it on the second grab. He's going to kick a goal. Matthew Nix rams it home. He's got three. They can't put them away, the Swans, but they have been able to answer them whenever they've kicked the goal. Well, just going to say, the, the Bombers had not kicked consecutive goals in the game. And I'll just that one when I said against the run. They needed another goal, and the Swans have replied again. They've done it three or four times when the pressure's been on. Alessio back into the ruck. Hill to the bench. Moorcroft on the ground. 
The Swans trying to sort out. Look, this might be a blood rule here. Seymour saying, there's no blood. And the umpire saying, yes, there is. On your knee, you idiot. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> he didn't look down. <laughs> Looks like a bit of dirt from ground level, boys. To the Essendon, they're trying to rejig their forward line. Moorcroft, Fletcher have been pushed in there. Ramanaskis is there. I didn't know dirt ran like that, Dougie. <laughs> Swass it was coming back onto the ground. 9-8 plays 4-11. There he is, Wayne Swass. 16 possessions today. Three tackles. Paul Kelly has applied five tackles. Brett Kirk, four. And Crouch, three. Goods and Barnard. Kirk again involved. And the umpire also involved. The other great sign for the Swans is a man, Michael O'Loughlin's had 10 possessions, but his impact's been minimal, KB. If he lets go in five minutes, you know he can kick two to three quick goals. We see that Saddington's now got Fletcher. In fact, he hasn't. Dunkley's gone back onto him. Barnard smashes it forward. Quick, oh, release from Kirk downfield. Not paid, doesn't matter. Drew Bolton, who's playing a terrific match this afternoon. Seventh mark. 19 possessions, ball's playing out of the square, couldn't take it, forced to night, has to use it and control it well, which is oh. what they do, oh dear, Mark, Bannister had no hope, fixed it. Brett Kirk is a very good tackler. He is a great tackler, but that oh, that was the easiest tackle you'll ever get in your life. And throughout man. this game, he is, he's put on a couple yeah. of great tackles, and he's probably not recognised as being a, a very strong tackler. Bad decision by Blake Carousella. Alessio won the tap. Kelly, Mercury, Moorcroft. They've shuttled it forward. Barnard trying to pass through. Trying to get force through with sheer force, but couldn't in the end. McPherson. Thought he went for the boundary line, he actually ends up with Joe Mercedi. So the Bombers can swing into attack again. Oh. Mercedi actually did it well. Carousella took a tough mark. Mercedi could see what was happening with McPherson. Really pushed hard across to intercept that, that slower play for the Sydney Swans. Hardwick. Now Swash has just come onto the field to replace Goods. Seymour. Cross half back, not a bad replacement. Goods is on centre wing, loose player. Williams. Williams always can fill that spot. Runs hard. Too far out to score. Good kick and a half. Jason Ball could be the go-to man. He's in the square. Kelly's there as well. The Swans, the Swans swapped in general play then. Swass has gone to McCurry and Williams has become the on-baller. Williams wants to set it up. Now he goes to Ball. Jacobs was the big fist. Johnson working hard at ground level. So it's take two. Let's do it all again. Williams to Creswell. Who's going to pump the ball on? Here comes Kelly. He's got it. And we can see the difference there to the body pressure than what we saw down the other end with Lucas and Saddington. Great point, KB. Great point. You can see the ball's gone over his head. He's held his opponent. Creswell, long kick. Kicks to advantage, and he holds bank, makes contest, stops him in his tracks, and then marks the ball without any contact at all after he's made the initial body contact with his opponent. Mr. Putnam, 33 points up. Kelly runs oh. very close to the man on the mark. A monumental error. It was good play by Carousella. Stood on the mark, never moved, put his hands up. Hardwick. Could this be the turnaround for the Bombers? Barnard across half back. The Bombers have to run hard. McCurry sprinting down to the half forward line. Johnson, he'll get support from Lucas. Kicks a high ball. Ramanaskis has to go. Ramanaskis! He's got it. And great rebound football by the Bombers. Kelly ran so close to the man on the mark and Carousella take a bow because he stood his ground. He put his hands high in the air. And on the rebound, Ramanaskis. What a turnaround this can be. Instead of 33 points down, they can bring it back to 21. He's already hit the post once, thanks to Hutto. He won't miss again. Ramanaskis, 35 metres out, kicks a goal. Here come the Bombers. Well, you're right, 
KB, can that be? I don't believe in turning points, but it would have blown the game right out of the park, ballpark for the Bombers. As we can see here, Kelly not on the go in this third quarter. Well done, Carousella. That's what discipline about manning the mark. Now look at this bounce here by Barnard. He put it behind his back. That's something out of basketball, that. Gets it forward and a great mark by Remin. That's what's under pressure. Well, twice in this quarter, the Bombers have kicked a goal to get within 21. And twice, the Swans have responded. They've got 30 seconds to do it again for a third time. Jason Johnson, Kelly, be looking to make amends. Matthews have weaved their way through. 20 seconds for Michael O'Loughlin to work in. Ball's playing at full forward on Jacobs. Nix is in the square on Bolton. He goes for Nix. Nix has got the runner. Nix has not been able to take the mark. And forced the night. And the Bombers stand up. And they're going to have a chance in this last quarter. What a last turn it could be. As the siren sounds for three-quarter time. In Colonial Stadium. Very interesting third quarter. And a little bit of a spring returning to the step of Kevin Sheedy as he looks ahead to the last term. Paul Barnard involved in that last goal. The Swans, 9-8-62. Essendon outscored them in that quarter. 5-11-41. 21 points to difference as we go to the break. 9-8 to 5-11. A huge draw. A massive crowd at Colonial Stadium. A great atmosphere. Let's see if we get a last quarter to match it. Jason Johnson with the initial kick. Saddington lets Lucas in just for a moment. Rakuri can wind into it. Sees the moment. Can Scotty Lucas? No, he couldn't. Out of the full. And he knows it. What do you think, Tony, for this last quarter? Oh, well, they've got to start taking the influence of Jason Ball out of the game in the ruck, but just opportunities like that, you have to take every one of them. We can't count the Bombers out. They've only lost nah. like four games since Federation. <laughs> Swass at half back. Just weighing up the options. It'll be interesting to see the tempo of the game, won't it? I mean, whether it's been such a low-scoring game, whether that changes or not. Creswell. And I think so against the Swans. They just keep, keep getting numbers back into the fence. They'll be trying to lock it up fairly well. Gets the hurry up from the crowd. Bangs the ball back to centre wing. Swash goes to ground. Showed a lot of courage. Put himself right on the line. Crouch at ground level. Stood up. Handball. Pilts. Rockers the ball. Looking for O'Loughlin. Yet to have a real influence on the game. This man has. Williams runs to 50, runs to 50 and kicks a goal. Well, he's had the big job all day on Mark McCurry. That's his 17th possession and first goal. But Mark McCurry has not had an impact on the game. This there is just a follow-up after being involved in the initial contest. Could have handballed a Saddington, but he loves kicking goals from outside 50. That's why he was recruited by the Swans this year. Well, Paul Williams taking a glance at the scoreboard. I think he liked what he saw, so he thought he'd have another look at it. 10-8, yeah. 68 to 5-11-41. You can't blame him. It's a crucial goal. Johnson thumps it forward. Williams got to work again. Reminaskis and Matthews. Williams hits it hard. Was that a free kick? No, it wasn't for McCurry. Was that a free kick? Yes, it was, says the umpire. The bandage taken by Matthews, puts it on the chest, but Paul Kelly feast leads for him. He kicks to the space, maybe to the boundary line, in fact, Kelly, and he finds his target to perfection. Great kick. Good umpiring then, too. I think Mark McCurry played for that free kick. Under a lot of pressure from the crowd. I reckon the umpires have cracked down a bit on the playing for the free kick in the last couple of weeks. So they should. Absolutely. Ball in front. Alessio. Oh, well tackled. Swass. Ball. Quick kick. He worked hard for it. Fixed up. McVeigh. And Nix in amongst all that. And the umpire calls for a bounce. I wonder if the player like Ramanaskis or Moorcroft can go down and let McVeigh go forward. He has been known as a goal kicker. 
and Moorcroft and Ramanaskas haven't done it, although he kicked a goal just in the third quarter, Ramanaskas. Maybe Gary Moorcroft should be tried at the other end. Well, a goal here for the Swans would go a long way to ensuring they win the game. Feast, Kelly, fixed up, and another ball up. I was going to say there, Shory, the Scotty Lucas miss completely for oh. a shot for goal. It was very costly, wasn't it? Yeah. You have to take all the opportunities when you're, you know, four or five goals down. Feast. Nick's tried to run through. Heffernan went for the boundary line or the behinds. And he got the ladder. So that takes the Swans to 10-9-69. Essendon to 5-11-41. Sunday football around Australia on Channel 7. And I'll be enjoying it up in the harbour side at the moment. McVeigh. Back edge of the centre square. Sets it up to Johnson. He gets the run from Barnard. Didn't have the hands. Kept alive by McPherson. Ball's been magnificent again today. Rockets the ball to Feast. That was clever play. Swash. Dances around Alessio and tries to drill it. Carousella. Mercedi. The Bombers can share the ball across centre wing. McGrath, thumping kick. Ramanaskas on the stretch, couldn't take it. Can he set it up to Moorcroft? Yet have an influence on the game. Fletcher couldn't make ground. Boundary throwing, 25 metres around from goal. Wayne Swass has had 20 possessions, but some of his kicking has been deplorable today. He's got beautiful use of the ball. Got the short pass has been intercepted. So a chance for the Bombers. Goods and Bolton. Crouch tried to tickle the ball. Lucas, a centering kick. McCurry running with the flight. Loose ball. A lot when dragged to ground. Shannington slaps it on. Carousella, touch of the fumbles. Dunkley falls on top of the ball and forces the ball up. Do you reckon that was a throw, KB, or not? to see it again. I'll tell you what, the Swans pressure have caused the Bombers to fumble at their feet. Oh no, it sort of hit up in the contest, wasn't it KB? Hard one to pin, especially was, so close to goal, was, under a bit of pressure. It was jolted out of his arms and then he tapped the ball on. The umpire got it right. O'Loughlin, oh, well, dangerous kick. Bob needs a good bounce. Sets it up short, Fletcher. This is a big kick for the Bombers. Oh. Kevin Sheedy's put Fletcher up forward, hoping for that something special. We were talking about those young guns before the game, Hutto. Mark Bolton, he's shown a he fair miss today. Yeah. Intelligent kick on that occasion. Fletcher from right on 50. Ball camped in front. Takes the grab. Seymour nowhere to go on the way out. He held on to it. Just biding his time. Saddington went for Kelly. Harvick right with him. What a battle those two have had since half time. Wellman floated it. Moorcroft should get this. Oh, Saddington. Well, he had the extra height, I suppose, but geez, judgment's been great. Getting back to make some of those desperate spoils. Essendon. In attack. Alessio. Ramanaskis came through with the tap. Creswell, Mercury, Mercurial, Messini got it. Just got rid of it in time. Ramanaskis, one of the young stars for the Bombers. Mercury thought about running off. Fletcher's in the square, tried to pinpoint the low one. The old Daisy Cutter. And Blake Carousella accepted it gleefully, and he can shoot for goal. Well, they're keeping the pressure on the Swans. They have to convert. There's no use to it's scoreboard pressure they need now. 23 possessions for Blake Carousella. He's had an outstanding year. What a kick. Just about all or nothing for the Bombers from here. It's coming back. It's done enough. They're still in it. They just won't go away, the Bombers, at this stage. 10-9 by 6-11. Just smart play again by Mark McCurry. Nearly intercepted, but he knew that he wasn't going to make the distance from 50 metres out or 55 metre kick. 
Blake Caroselli's had a good game again today. Bumbled a few times at ground level. That gets him back in the game. Nail biting time for the Bombers. They trail by 22 points. Plenty of time. Just under 14 minutes. Alessio and ball. Carousella has lifted. McPherson. Inside the centre square. He'll go wide. Bolton has to make it a contest. Jacobs needs clean hands. Does well. Carousella. Boot the ball quickly. Stannington, the big fist from behind. Johnson sets it up. Moorcroft on the charge. Ramanaskis, too much carry on the ball. They set it up. McCurry's going to kick a goal. Bobbers within 16 points. Some great work out of the centre bounce here by the Bombers. Alessio got his body in line. It's cleared out a quick kick. Johnson hard at it again. Walcott, the jury was on inside the corridor. He didn't see him. Over the ground, his head, but I'll tell you what, Dustin Fletcher saw him all right. And he won't miss him, the Mercedes Benz, Mark McCurry. This is as close as they've been since early in the second quarter. Can they keep running on? Ball got the tap, but suddenly they have got spring in the step. Carousel has been bringing out of the middle. Johnson went for the space, went for Dustin Fletcher. And he just couldn't stop it going out. The crowd pulsating with the excitement, making an enormous noise here at Colonial Stadium. 10-9 to 7-11. Ball and Alessio. Ball trying to control it. McCurry. Masiti into the square. Revanaskis with a run up. Lucas won a spot. It was from Matthews. The pressure on now. Lucas couldn't get under the left. He slung the fierceness of the Swans tackling. Wins another contest for them. Matthews. Williams provides the lead. Can he run? Pressure can't be in that marking contest. But McVeigh let that get past. You don't know what was going to happen there. Crowd of 45,057. Swans by 16 points. Blood now will. there's blood will there on McVeigh. The umpire had a close look at that knee. So McVeigh off. It was a great save. Uh, just a bit of dirt on that one, boys. <laughs> Lelich. Are you there, Hutto? <laughs> yes, Dougie, I can hear you, mate. Lelich is coming on. Just asking the bench, where do I go? Just get a man at the moment. <laughs> it's a ball up, 48 metres out from Sydney's goal. 12 minutes left in the contest. Swans had led all day. Eight points at quarter time, 28 at half time, 21 points at three quarter time. But the Bombers are lifting. Maxfield building the wall. He's on centre wing. The eyes are darting to Saddington. Trying to set it up. Big bomb into the forward line. One for the high flyers. Wellman. Good hands from Masidi, Smoke and Joe finds Lalic, just comes straight off the bench. Bolton can't trap it. Toss back in. 10-9-69 Sydney. The Bombers 7-11-53. And don't forget i7sport.com.au. You can order the new Heart of the Game AFL book, which is uh, covering the 45 years of football on 7. 10-9-7-11. What a battle. McVeigh back on. Lalich off. 
The Bombers going in today without Mark Johnson and Dean Solomon to add to the list of Heard, Lloyd and Barnes during the week. They've done a remarkable job to get back in the contest. The Swans look to be in control. Just got the stutters at the moment. Fixter around the corner. Kelly, how pivotal will that smother be late in the third quarter when he had that shot for goal and Essendon responded. Kicked a goal to keep them in the match. McVeigh, McCurry's had a big last quarter. Oh. Williams, tough big match. He's kicked one goal, one. He's taken seven marks. He's had 18 possessions and he's switching it here. And Matthews can run. Got Seymour away to his left. Not a lot ahead after he takes it. O'Loughlin leads and doubles back. He goes for him. Overwhelming O'Loughlin went very early. Beast back to O'Loughlin. No free pay. Michael O'Loughlin gets clear. An astonishing kick from Michael O'Loughlin. How's that for handling pressure? Well, it's an astonishing kick, all right, Hutto, but I thought it was an astonishing miss from the umpire. Interference in the marking contest, and he never marked the ball. Whether the umpire thought that it wasn't great enough interference, as you can see, you have to mark the ball there. Wellman deserved the free kick, but again, as you said, an astonishing finish from Marco Lockman. Lucky break for the Swans, they lead by 22 points. Time clock ticking away, just under 10 minutes left for the Bombers. Facing their third successive defeat, great smother by Paul. What a player he's been today for Sydney. Johnson to Bolton. Inside the centre square, working hard, Carousella oh. ripped off the ball. He's been a star by Carousella. He's the man who can lift the Bombers. Eight marks and 27 possessions and a goal. And a great smother on Paul Kelly in that third quarter. Carousella lifting the Bombers. Fletcher on the stretch, couldn't take it. Ball made it a contest. Alessio trying to just paddle the ball out. Dunkley heads straight for the line. Keeps it in play. No, on the full. On, on the, the full. full. Did you see some chalk there? Okay, it's just over, oh. boys. I thought there might have been some chalk. Just over there, boys, it was. Just over, Doug? Yeah, just over, Shorey. Thanks, Doug. Lucas. Took it on the stretch. McCurry wants it short. McVeigh into the pocket. McCurry. Got him in his sights. The Bombers are not dead yet. Squeezed up on the boundary line, Matthews runs into a roadblock in the shape of that man, Paul Barnard. Every He's time. Looks like a bit of talking down there, boys. Yes. I thought it was, Doug. Should Good be in the US that. Open. Lesio gives the Bombers a chance, got his hands on the ball. Johnson fighting hard. Markov kicks a goal! won't go away, Tony. Well, I, I said before whether Moorcock should go back and McVeigh forward. Well, McVeigh has gone forward. Have a look at this for a tap from young McVeigh. Very smart football. Or was it Johnson? No, Johnson gets it forward. Oh, it was Fletcher. Great play by Fletcher then to keep the ball alive. Good goal by Gary Moorcock. They won't lay down. Still there's an opening for them. The Swans now with the pressure. Pilts on and goods off. Bold move by Rodney E. Out of the middle again, Jason Johnson. The legs are pounding. He's gone. The umpire gave him the chance to get rid of it. He did. Reminaskis standing start. It's offline. So he's missed twice today. This good's okay, Dougie. There's no injury problem with him, is there? Yeah, no problems. I know uh, Adam Goods looks pretty... He's had a bit of a break, man, at this stage. Well, he's been beaten overall, I guess you'd say, by Bolton today. Maxfield kicks in. There's Bolton. Oh, there's Sampton. Oh. What a steadying influence he's had today. Five marks. Countless spoils. McPherson, Bolton demands it on the wing. He's going to keep it around the boundary line, though. Nicks. And at the back, ball. Didn't go for the mark, and now he kicks it out on the floor. Just a 
few signs of exasperation amongst some of the Swans players. Clock's ticked up to 18 minutes. Still eight minutes of footy remaining. Jacobs on the bench. They've had the Bombers on the back foot all day. Got a switch here. But it's never say die for the Bombers. Wellman. The run will come from McGrath. Who can run now? Ramanaskis is running hard. So is Johnson. So is Barnard. And Bolton. He's got it. Gee, I like this kid. That was some grab. Oh, that could be 50. He gets up. Bolton runs to 50. Kicks into the man. Smothered off the ball. And it's a mark. I thought it was smothered. No, I think it just wobbled. Just wobbled? I think it just wobbled. Wow. I'd like to see that again. It was a funny old kick. Great play by the young fellow though, KB. Great mark on the pressure. Let's just see this kick. Now you think this nearly should be 50 by just pushing him to the ground, but then he gets up on his back. Oh. Gee whiz, I don't know. It was a shocker. They no, didn't complain. Barnard. To get the bombers within nine points. Kicks the goal. Some of their stars like McCurry and Carousella have lifted to show the way. Johnson, 31 possessions. And their youngsters like Bolton have been terrific as well. So the Swans, they know they just can't defend now. They can't hold this lead with negative play. Not nine points. They've lifted in the centre, Hutto. Six clearances, centre bounce clearances to Essendon to none. The Swans. And some credit must go to Alessio for that, as well as their on-ballers in particular. Goods is back on the ground. He controlled it well. Stuart Maxfield needs a clear head, clear eyes, and good contact. And he does all three, but just couldn't get it over the line. Wellman to bring the ball back into play. Just under six minutes left. Uh, we've got the blood rule. rule. They trail by ten points. I think it's Creswell. Oh, yes. There is some blood there. That's not mud, Hutto. No. Get Doug to check it out. <laughs> Bolton coming back on. He would have had a few in his day, I'd say, Darren Creswell. Eleven ten seventy six, Sydney Swans. Nine twelve sixty six. The Bombers. Hardwick. The Bombers have trailed all day. Ramanaskis wants it short. Fifty metres. Plus fifty. Nix has thought it been called for play on then. Well, Matthew Nix has booted three goals today. He's been a thorn. To the Essendon side, Ramanaskis back edge of the centre square. It's a wobbly old kick. Yeah. Bolton. Runs hard. It was a poor turnover. Nick's on a long lead. Good hands by Bolton. The young man is standing up. McGrath pumps it back. Fletcher. At three to beat. Going to ground was Bolton. Oh. Fletcher works hard, he's got Dunkley to beat. Fletcher kicks it off the ground. This time lands on the chest of Saddington. He forgot what sport he was playing, I think. <laughs> Seymour. A transfer of play to Ball. He can go wide. Seymour wants to draw an opponent. Does it well. Now the run will come from Maxfield. He's a thumping kick. He's going to carry this right inside 50. O'Loughlin's going to be the target getting back. Wellman, loose ball. Chance 
for the Bombers. Jacobs to Hardwick on the rebound. From centre half back, wobbles it forward. McGrath's got to take a grab, he does. Through the centre square to Ramanaskis under pressure. Fletcher. Alessio to Mark. He's 48 metres out. He's kicked two goals. He's also hit the post today. Can you believe it? If he kicks this, they are within four points. And he's been great in this last quarter. As I said, six centre bounce clearances to nil. He's done the job in the centre from under extreme pressure. He had to stand up and be counted today. John Barnes out of the side. Well, he can't get any bigger kick in the context of this game, KB. This to bring the Bombers within four points. Alessio going for goal number three. Leans back. Sensational game. You've got to give it to him. Under man, Hurd, Lloyd, Johnson, Solomon out of this side. They were not made down. Another sensational Sunday afternoon of football. Another thriller. Four points in it. Williams gets the kick out of the middle. Fixter versus Hardwick. Hardwick's been brilliant. Messini, the Bombers have got control of the ball.
Sydney Swans led by 27 at one stage. Kelly was having a shot for goal. You would have thought the Bombers were gone. Now they've still got a chance to win it. Alessio, Stafford, Kirk, great hands. Williams, what will he do with it? Oh, he went short. Oh, Lockton. Oh, great tackling. This is great pressure. Fixed up. Got the handball out. Paul Williams just bashed away at goal. And it misses. It misses and that gives Essendon possession. The Bombers have possession from the kick in. Lalich has to make it work. He finds well who can run. He's got space. Kicks wide. Lucas. Long lead. Great oh, mark. Great mark. Super grab. On the stretch. Bounces to his feet. Fletcher. Fletcher's down the mark. He taps it on. Can you believe it? Good hits for the line. It's over. It's out. Why didn't Fletcher take the mark? I think he just misread it. It was under the ball. So he thought I can't grab it. Lucas has to pump this into centre half forward. They need a grab. Minecraft! Could take it. Only one great mark a year. Barnard tries to shovel the ball out. 45 metres from the Bombers goal. Oh. Loose ball. Minecraft trying to find Bolton. The Bombers are desperate. So are the Swans. Fletcher, high ball. Alessio can mark. Alessio has marked. Alessio has marked.